was an honor and a privilege for me to serve as your 2021 to 2022 American Legion Auxiliary National President. Seeing our mission in action was a constant reminder of why we do what we do as auxiliary members, echoing the importance of the ALA. Seeing firsthand how we make a difference in our communities was inspiring. I really wish I could share all the stories with you. Just know your fellow auxiliary members are taking care of our veterans, military, and their families across the country and across the world. Over the past year, I was blessed to see firsthand our mission in action. From American Legion family events to collaborations with other community organizations, to the impact our programs have on our youth, veterans, and everyone in between. It is amazing what a difference the American Legion Auxiliary has made on those around us. I am so proud to have personally witnessed the influence on those we serve. As a storied organization, we strive to take care of those who have answered the call to service, as well as their family members. Many of these family members are auxiliary members, and as I learned this year, many have taken on a caregiving role. A priority on those unsung heroes ties in with our mission, as well as the national focus for the 2021 to 2022 administrative year, caring for those who care for others. We have members who have been, currently are, or will someday be caregivers. This topic has really hit home for many. Caregiving is a series of small acts that alter the course of someone's life. It has been an honor to recognize the caregivers I met during my travels across the country. Thank you for sharing your stories with me. You are so inspiring and so strong. I know caregiving can be a lot with the intense emotions that often accompany the role. The depression, anger, loneliness, guilt, anxiety, and sadness. To our caregivers, I've seen units and departments take a little extra time out of meetings and events to say a special thank you for all that you do. I hope you've enjoyed receiving the caregiver certificates of appreciation and truly take to heart that you matter. I've enjoyed reading about the trials and triumphs in the heartbreak and healing of a few of our caregivers in this year's issues of Auxiliary Magazine. If you haven't had the chance, be sure to visit the national website to view the three-part series on caregivers. Caring for loved ones can certainly be tough, but there are also many beautiful caregiver stories that have been shared throughout this past year. There are too many to call them out individually, though I really wish I could. But I do want to share one that is very close to my heart. Amari Williams is a young man who won the Americanism Essay Contest when I was a committee chairman in 2015. I mentioned him during my National Convention platform remarks that year. Here is the video from that time. About three years ago, I had a heart transplant. Afterwards, they had me thinking, and one of the things I thought about was trying to help other people. So I started my foundation to help other people have to gather awareness about heart transplant and other heart diseases. And it had me start thinking about my freedom, and that's what led me to write the essay. I would like to thank the American Legion Auxiliary for giving me this award and letting me write about what freedom means to me, and I will always have freedom in my heart. Amari was raised by his grandmother. At that time, he was waiting on a heart transplant, which he did eventually receive. He is now 19, going to college, and doing well. Recently, he sent a $100 check for my National President Caregiver Project in memory of his grandmother, who lovingly served as his caregiver. I almost burst into tears. It's been more than eight years since I heard from Amari. For him to send a donation to help other caregivers is so incredibly heartwarming. Thank you, Amari, for thinking of others. 
In addition to showing caregivers our love and appreciation, what members are doing to take care of our veterans is inspiring. One example is the DTOM Ranch, Don't Tread on Me, located in South Dakota. Founded by two incredible veterans, the mission of DTOM Ranch is to provide a safe place for healing and recovery for military service members, veterans, and their families. DTOM provides equine therapy for veterans, among other services. I was able to experience a tiny bit of the specialized therapy they designed to help our veterans, and I was completely floored. It was the most intensely emotional experience ever with an aftermath of incredible peace. The stories I heard about while I was there were so inspiring. The ranch does not receive VA money or any other government form of funding for the services it provides. The ALA Department of South Dakota graciously supports this project. Thank you, Chris and Doc, for giving back to our veterans in this unique way. Like South Dakota, there are many other auxiliary departments and units involved in helping our veterans in unique ways. Just one state over in Minnesota is Eagle's Healing Nest. The nonprofit is committed to meeting the needs of veterans, service members, and their families who suffer from the invisible wounds of war. Many of our military are struggling and need programs with a caring hand to assist them. Eagle's Healing Nest helps foster purpose and direction. The nonprofit is strongly supported by its local American Legion family and the greater community. Thank you to our members who support this organization and are making a difference for our service members, past, present, and future. What an ALA year it has been. The hospitality and kindness shown to me by everyone I've met has been so appreciated. I can't thank you enough for opening your hearts during my travels. From the basics of picking me up at airports, sharing your stories, introducing me to caregivers and American Legion family members, and getting hands-on opportunities to help with unit projects. It was great to work alongside all of you. I will never forget this year, and I will always remember what a privilege it was to serve in this leadership role. Thank you for all of the awesome experiences as you welcomed me wherever I went. I appreciate you, and I look forward to serving veterans military and their families with you as a fellow unit member. Please continue to take care of our caregivers and be there for them during the joyful times and difficult moments they'll face in their role. Remember to be kind because you never know what is going on with others. Thank you for your love, your blessings, and your friendships. I won't forget. God bless you. God bless our veterans, military, and their families, and God bless the USA.